customer service in the modern world. Hotel, I put up 20 employees. I'm like, I need my car. 15 minute come by. Don't be out here congregating, help us. It's too long to get our car. Okay. And you guys are over here talking and chatting. There's seven employees here. Where's our car? Don't take so long. Yeah, okay. Once again, business skills are at an all time low. Up your business skill. We're sitting there at the, uh, we gotta get to the airport. Um, and Adam, back here, 15 minutes, they, they haven't brought our car. So I walk up to the valet and there's seven people sitting around in a circle and I said to them, uh, does anyone work here? And they all turn around and go, we all work here. And I'm going, okay, seven people working here. None of them, they were all chit chatting. None of them paying attention to us, the customers. I said, she goes, what's the problem? I said, well, and she got half the equation. The business skill you must know and life skill was written in Proverbs a long time ago. A gentle answer turns away wrath. But notice it's a twofold word. A gentle answer. So she gently said to me, what's the problem? And I said, well, the problem is that I have to get to the airport very soon. And it's been 15 minutes and we haven't gotten our car. And there's no one even in line and no one even responding to us here at the valet. And she goes, uh, that's not true. So first of all, gently she said it. But that's not an answer to when your customers are irate or bothered. Sam Walton said the customer is always right. He didn't mean that literally the customer is always right. He meant that they're right in the sense that you have to respond to them because what they're feeling is a quote unquote right feeling for them and it's hurting your income, right? So her answer, I said to her, I said, uh, what's not right? That I have to go to the airport? She goes, no, 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 it hasn't been exactly 15 minutes. I go, oh, okay, you're right. I'm glad you picked that point to argue with. It's been 12 minutes. Sorry, Adam exaggerated three minutes. Incorrect, because she was gentle, but she didn't give an answer. The correct answer in Proverbs 2,000 years ago was a gentle answer turns away with wrath. If you're in business, people are pissed at you, assuming that it's something moderately, moderately reasonable. 195 Western. Yeah. You say to them, we're in Miami here. I'm headed to open a new office tomorrow. Me and Alex, 36 person office in um, in Manhattan. And anyway, I, I said, well, we gotta go. The correct answer would have been, oh, oops, my bad. Oops, my bad will get you out of more problems in life than you can fathom, especially if you sincerely say it. I remember, true story, one of the first times an investor ever put money in, he was a very, very, very wealthy guy and he put money in and I was supposed to pay him back. It was, he, he loaned money into one of my companies. It wasn't that much, it was like 150 grand. He loaned, this true story, I never told you this, Alex. So he goes, you gotta pay me back December 31st, a year later. A year later, I pay him all back, all the interest. About two months later, he says, after I paid him back, I get the nastiest voicemail of my entire life. In fact, Maya, my cousin was with me. I held the phone this far away from my head not on speakerphone and she could hear him screaming. He's like, I will, you know, destroy you. You have not paid me back. You have, and he was so mad. And so I called him back and he answered. I won't say his name and I go, oh, I just want you to know. This guy was so rich, by the way, that he didn't know I'd paid him back because he, I did everything through his accountant and I just called him. I said, oh man, I paid you back actually a little bit early but oops, my bad, I should have contacted you directly. Instead, I told your, your CPA who I thought you wanted, but oops, my bad. And you know what? He was mad for a second, but then he kind of goes, okay, and he got over it. Oops, my bad is the correct business training. All those of you who are employees. Now, if somebody's unreasonable, completely unreasonable, calling you racial slurs or something like that, you do not need to apologize. But I was apologizing not because I had done something wrong, but because I could have made it more clear to him and emotionally made him feel better. You see what I'm saying? So life is about, you must make people feel good. So build your business skills, things they do not teach you in school. They don't teach you in school how to deal with, you know, tension in the workplace or tension with people. That's a life skill that you better learn 
You better learn that, and they don't teach it anywhere in school, sadly. Just like you better learn public speaking and communication. You better learn how to write, at least decently enough to communicate in some form or another to people. You know, you got to be able to communicate. You got to be able to write a resume if you get in a traditional job. If you're not, if you're an entrepreneur, you still got to know how to write because you have to write your website, copy, and things like that. So again, we live in a world where it's all upside down. The things you need to learn, you don't learn. And the things that you they do make you learn is the square root of a, you know, hypotenuse of a triangle, which is great. You're going to be an engineer. But build your business skills. If you have employees, train your employees. Train your employees how to deal with, I really think there's seven main areas of business. Train your employees in some public speaking. You know, nothing wrong with that. Train your employees in customer support. Train them how to write. Train them to understand business finance so that they understand the way you're paying them. So yeah, I, actually, it's, it's a very ironic conversation what happened today because Alex and I uh, launched a business called Knowledge Society. We'll put a link below. And I tell people, people don't like their income or they don't, man, we got a whole school bus over here. Um, they don't like their income or they don't like their business's income, they don't like the productivity of their employee. And I go, well, what's your business skills training budget? And they're like, uh, zero. I'm like, how much did you spend last month? I'm gonna go, well, what's your Netflix budget? Oh, seven bucks, 10 bucks a month? But your life skill, business skill budget is zero? So we launched a site called Knowledge Society. I'm gonna teach you business skills, both for yourself and, and you can use it for your employees. You can buy seats for your employees. And we marked it very cheap because I want to make this world a place where people have some skills. So when I go to a hotel, the valet knows how to, I'm going to send a free membership to this hotel we were staying at. I won't say the name. I don't want to embarrass him. Well, I wasn't saying that my employees were, they had this car. We just have a little rental car to get to the airport. And I'm just going, because I get car sick if I use Uber. <laughs> so Alex, you know, Alex got his Berkeley or went to Berkeley for his MBA. And he dropped out, first business, made $150 million a year, done a billion of revenue. So he had to learn business skills the hard way. So he'll be teaching in there. We have New York Times bestselling authors. We have PhDs. We have professors who are at Harvard and the top schools in the world teaching you and your employees business skills. So click the link below to go to, we're gonna put a special link at Knowledge Society just because I'm so, legitimately bugged by these people i'm like we're gonna give you a discounted price it's not even that expensive to start with it's less than netflix and if you are a person that does not have the logic to go an investment maybe i want to spend a little bit more on my business and life and job and career skills and my employees skills too if i if you're you know if you can't see that that's more important than netflix then do not i mean <laughs> there's another issue going on I'm not saying you have to learn from us, but I know of no website in the world. That's why we started ourselves. And the reason we call it Knowledge Society is Peter Drucker in the 19, uh, I think he wrote 1970s, he talked about that a day is coming where you cannot just live in the information age. We now live in the information age, it's Google. He said, there's a day coming where you must survive in the knowledge society. That society is changing and so what happened is you know he predicted he was he's basically the most famous business teacher of all time peter drucker predicted accurately as probably the world you know harvard press publishes the books by peter drucker and uh i've actually it's funny i've harvard press told me told me i've sold more books for harvard press and peter drucker than anybody i don't think they know i'm a college dropout so we won't keep that private between us all right uh but I do believe whether you go to college or don't go to college, whether you want to be like Mark Zuckerberg and be a college dropout and make your, you know, make your career, or you want to be like Warren Buffett who went to, went to a top school. Either way, it's not the diploma that matters. It's not the information you can Google on, you know, that you can Google and search because everybody can do that. It's the knowledge which is applied information. So we've taken the top information and we've applied it practically uh, on Knowledge Society. We've applied it practically for you. So click the link below, um, less than the price of Netflix. Really, I was, we were, we originally launched it, tested it at a higher price point, but 
life goal here is increased productivity. You know, your goal for both yourself and if you're an employer or employee or entrepreneur, your goal is to do twice as much in the same time with half the effort, right? And I li we live in this world where people are trying to increase their career, they're trying to rise up in their career, they're trying to make more money, they're trying to get their employees more productive, they're trying to get themselves more productive, they wanna know the best daily routines. That's one of the things we'll be teaching, how to set up an organized daily routine. And it's not just me and Alex, in fact, we're not even the main teachers. Because we own another company called Mentor Box, where we, we're kind of like the Netflix of books and book summaries, uh, we have access to a lot of the top New York Times bestselling authors, PhDs, business and entrepreneurs. We had, you know, Reed Hoffman teaching Mentor Box. He started LinkedIn, the billionaire there. And we have a tremendous amount of access to real experts that can take you. And all you gotta do, 10 minutes a day, that's it. Both for yourself as an entrepreneur or an employee. And if you're an employer, have each of your employees watch one video a day, 10 minute training. And we have mini certifications. They can, you can take quizzes to get the mini certifications to show you actually understand those seven real areas. There's more than seven, but seven core things you need to know in, in business skills that they do not teach in for sure elementary school or junior high. Definitely 99% of high schools don't teach them. And sadly, even business school isn't teaching you the things. And a lot of that is because you'd be surprised how much outdated information there is in this world. Whereas we're by using video courses, we can update the curriculum in five seconds for you. you know, we can get a new video with the most cutting edge. You know, how do you hire people? How do you get hired? Is it just a resume? That's what I thought. I remember getting my first job. You just wear a suit and you look people in the eye and you do a handshake. Is that how do you become a good speaker? How do you become a great leader? How do you inspire and motivate people? How do you get CEO skills so one day you rise up and maybe you're the boss CEO? How do you manage people? How do you deal with dysfunction? How do you, uh, dysfunction of a team, how do you write better? So that not only is the grammar correctly correct, which what is what they teach you in school, and that's great that you learn what a gerund is and you know a hanging participle, but that's not, a, that's information. And Peter Drucker did not say that you wanna live in the information age, he said you wanna live in the knowledge society. And that is where you apply these things because I know many people with an English degree that cannot do public speaking. You need to learn how to speak off the cuff a little bit. If you're introverted, you need to know how to grow your extroverted side. And if you're an extrovert, you need to grow your introverted, better organized self. People are multifaceted and you need to be multifaceted. So click the link below or in the corners or swipe up, go to Knowledge Society, less than the price, of Netflix, you're in your learning business skills from literally the most accomplished mentors, professors, entrepreneurs, authors in the world. But we don't care where they're from, we don't care if they're men or women, we don't care, they can be, some of them are, you know, from Asia, some are from every continent, maybe not Antarctica. We're well, gonna have a penguin come teach. Uh, but our goal for you is, that the next time you see one of these videos or next month or next year, you don't have a Harvard MBA because we're not a college. We're not offering accredited degrees. We don't call them diplomas, nothing like that. But as an old Amish guy told me, because he had an eighth grade education, it was one of the smartest people I knew with the most common sense and he ran a multi-million dollar business for me, a farm. A ranch and I said how come they're so good at stuff like I have PhDs who work for me in Manhattan in New York and I've had to fire two of them basically Ivy League people and he said well I don't know Ty because he's a real humble guy he said my dad told me who also had a fourth uh, eighth grade education you can lead a horse to water but you can't make it drink you can send a boy to college but you can't make him think you see we have a lot of people with no common sense. I'm not anti-college. I'm anti just being in possession of information without having the application that turns it into knowledge, knowledge society. Peter Drucker had it right. He's no longer with us, but he had it right 50 years ago. And it applies more now 
He was prescient. He saw the future before it was here. And that's why, you know, that's why he's... I, if I could have him training, if he was still alive, he'd be the main trainer in Knowledge Society. But sadly, he's no longer with us. Father time is undefeated, right? So I hope that you'll look back at your career and life and you'll go, you know what? I was good when I saw that video. I was good when I got in the Knowledge Society. I hope you'll look back and you'll go, I was good, but now I'm great. And I hope you'll look back at the employees and the business partners that were helping you say they were, they were, we were good. We were making money. We were successful. We were good, but we weren't great. And like Jim Collins book, good to great, you know, it's not about in this hyper competitive job environment that you and I live in an entrepreneurial environment. Everybody's trying to get what you're getting. So what's the competitive edge? Well, I can tell you the competitive edge. Everybody's watching Netflix and I like Netflix. I watch Netflix, but I don't do it um, and sacrifice time that I could be spending on my business training. And you might not have time to read books on business training. You might have time to read a, a textbook by Peter Drucker. Let us do it for you. We summarize the business training into, it's not book summaries, but we summarize the book, the, the training into 10 minute segments. You watch it on the way to work. You pull up your phone. You're gonna get a password protected site. You can get, you use your email, password. Once you get in, it costs less than Netflix. You get in, you immediately get access to a password protected website. It's just for you. You can get access to your employees if you have employees, but if it's just you, with a job or you as a solo entrepreneur, you log in. I recommend at least three times a day, you watch one video, uh, three times a week, sorry. You can do three times a day if you want, but three times a week, you watch one video, ten, around 10 minute video. Listen to them, a lot of them you can just listen to, put the headset, put the earbuds in. Hey, on the way to work, competitive advantage, audiobooks, yes. But what about practical business training and not just a book? That's hard to remember, like a little snippet, like here's here we go. Today, let's get an angle on how to be a better public speaker. Today, let's learn how to go from low level management to executive level. Today, let's learn some business finance so that you understand the quarterly, the quarterly numbers and you can look intelligent and because a, a great way to never advance your career is for other people to be like, this person doesn't know anything. And so, we're gonna teach you the things, that, you know, Alex and I, our businesses have done over $1 billion in revenue. So we're gonna teach you some things we learned. Um, Alex has a PhD and I'm from the, the school of hard knocks. I dropped out of NC State. I've got about eight credit hours all I ever did. And of course he has a full PhD and worked at NASA. And we're gonna bring in PhDs, but we're also gonna bring people who have street smarts in. So you, and those people that you sign up, if you choose to get your employees in Knowledge Society, you're gonna learn those things for a fraction of the cost. And I will speak to this. Right now, an undergrad degree at a private school is running from 20 to 40,000 a year in four years of the prime of your life. That's expensive. Might be worth it, but it's expensive. There's $1.2 trillion in college debt. In fact, I read an article from the Federal Reserve put out a statement saying that the reason that the housing market is slowing down is that people can't afford homes because their extra income is going to pay off college debt. Or you can just join Knowledge Society for less than 10 bucks. I'm not saying it's a replacement for college, but I'm saying it's a very good, I was gonna say something else. It's a very good supplement for those of you who have a college degree. And no longer will you be able to rest on your coattails from the college degree you got 15 years ago. That was in a different world. 15 years is an eternity in the modern world. Now the premium's on knowledge. What do you know? Warren Buffett says the more you learn, the more you earn. You wanna earn more in your career, you wanna start a business, or you wanna work for somebody else in a nine to five job, the more you learn, the more you earn. And not everybody's gonna be an, uh, should be an entrepreneur, not everybody should be an employee. There needs to be a mix. But everybody needs knowledge and business skills and career skills. So Knowledge Society is bridging a gap. We know of nothing like this. If there was something like this, I would just use it for our own employees. You know, combined Alex and I businesses at different times, I've had 500, 600, 700 employees. And what's one of the big problems, Alex? 
<laughs> people don't know what to do. People don't know what they're doing. Yeah. Even college degrees. Alex has been silently here, but I want him to <laughs> chime in. But so take the time in life to increase your skill level. And as Charlie Munger, Warren Buffett's billionaire business partner, says, um, he said, in general, he was speaking in generalities. He said, to get what you want, you have to deserve what you want. The world's not yet a crazy enough place to reward a whole bunch of undeserving people. If you want to increase your financial security, increase your income, rise up the ladder, whether it be in a, in a company or in your own business, you better earn it. And what did he mean when he said the world's not yet a crazy enough place to reward a whole bunch of undeserving people? It means that if you're not really putting in a little 10 minutes a day for business training, lifelong education, do you really deserve the raise that you want or the promotion that you want? Charlie Munger saying maybe not. To get what you want, you have to deserve what you want. It's the simplest formula. You put in the work. You know, I, it was interesting. I got to go and hang out with The Rock and Jason Statham a couple months ago at um, uh, in London where they were shooting the new version of Fast and Furious, the spinoff. And I was talking to The Rock, and this guy was there, and he was filming, and it was an eight-hour film. And then he went, and he brings his own trailer to work out, his own weights. And I was thinking, well, he's the highest-paid actor in history. He's the number one acting, uh, the number one action star right now. And um, to get what you want, you have to deserve. Does he deserve it? Is he just resting on... Oh, I was a pro wrestler 20 years ago. I had muscles. No, every day he's putting in the work. Every single day he's in the gym. But my question to you is, where's your mind? Are you in the gym of the mind? Are you training your business skills, which is between your ears? It's not a muscle. And inevitably, I know people that spend 20 bucks a month, 50 bucks a month, 100 bucks a month on their gym membership to keep their body uh, in shape. And I agree with that because you can't just be in shape one time and then everything works out for the rest of your life. Oh, I went to the gym one year, about 20 years ago, and everything's been great. But yet I meet people and I go, oh, so your budget to train your body at the gym is 100 bucks a month or 20 or 50? What's your uh, body, what's your brain budget? What's your business skill budget? Oh, uh, I don't know, I buy a book every once in a while and I read the first chapter. So your budget's zero, come on. Another thing, business, career, you need to learn sales, you need to learn marketing. Modern world, you need to learn a little social media. We'll have social media training in there. I've got over 10 million social media, business social media followers. I'll show you things that you should know. And once again, your business partners should know, your employees should know, the people you manage, your boss should know too. Now, knowledge society, can, I really believe it can be a contributor to the good of the world. We all do better when we feel competent. One of my mentors played in the NBA. He trains me in basketball. I love basketball. His name's Pooh Richardson, he played against Michael Jordan and all these guys, he played 10 years and he told me, I was asking him about how to be, you know, you gotta be confident to play in the NBA. And I said, well, you're, he, I said, how do you get that? How do you get that confidence? And he said, your competence is your confidence. You see, he said, by the time I made it out there and played pro basketball and I went against Michael Jordan, I had already been playing basketball for 10, 20, 30,000 hours of training, both with coaches and on my own. And he said, so I was confident, not a false confidence, not an arrogant confidence, not a narcissistic deluded confidence, but I was confident because I was now competent, you see? And so for each of you, if you maybe you're not confident in your public speaking, you're not confident in asking for a raise, you're not confident in building your business, you're not confident in managing people, you're not confident in your marketing and social media skills, you're not confident in your business financial knowledge and how to read financial statements, you're not confident in how to deal with customer support and build a, build a team and all these things that are just critical business skills and career and life skills, well, you gotta put in the work and train. And as your competence increases, so will your confidence. And your confidence will project onto other people. And that is how this life and this game of life goes. You must have deep domain expertise in things. Without a doubt, that's the single formula to increase in your income, is deep domain expertise and skills. 
but I meet people who want it and I go, well, what's your, you know, you, you got a morning routine with working out. You, you wake up, you have your, you know, protein shake and you, you have your kale salad or whatever you do a jog, you jog around the block and you go to the gym and you do your, you spin site, you all, okay, you do that. Okay. That's a great routine. I'm happy. You look like you're in great shape, but so tell me your, uh, your business skills, your career skills, training routine. Uh, what? Yeah, tell me your budget and your routine for that. I was just wondering. Obviously, body and health is very important. So obviously, but so is career. In fact, number one predictor of divorce, cancer, things like this. Not number one, but highly correlated is your income. If you're broke, you're stressed out. Your health goes down. Your your happiness goes down. Your love life goes down. So certainly, you have a routine for that, right? You don't just eat a kale salad and do. A, at protein and go to you know planet whatever gym nope everybody says nope and i'm going well do you like where you are in your career and your income nope okay do you have a plan nope what is your plan well I, I, you know every time i get an airplane i buy, buy a harvard business review magazine i buy a few business magazines i glance through a few articles and and uh few little books and and yeah that that's my routine but that's not a routine that's randomness so what knowledge society is going to do for you like i said click the link below if you're ready to get in it costs less than netflix what it's going to do for you it's going to create a structure an organizational pattern it's designed by phds which is good if you like the academic size side of things it's taught by people who have street smarts and people who have academic smarts it's systematic, it's scientific, it's validated. There's a lot you'll see as you get in. Oh, this makes sense. And it's so inexpensive compared to the alternative. You can go back and get an online MBA or an in-person MBA. They're running 40 to $100,000 a year. I know. I've, ta I've, I've spoken at Harvard, I've spoken at USC, I've spoken at London Business School, number two business school, and Harvard's number one, London Business School number two. I've seen, I know what they're teaching. I gave the keynote at the London Business School Entrepreneur Conference when I did my TEDx talk back in 2014, and I saw what they were learning, and they were learning a lot of stuff, and I saw, it was, I think it was 60, 70,000 pounds, which is like 100,000, and I have no nothing against them, but I also saw I remember I gave the keynote speech and then I said, I'll take questions outside. And I went off that stage at London Business School in 2014. And the, I would say, I remember it's the longest I've ever been awake because I flew straight from Los Angeles to London, which was like 10, 11 hour flight. I slept for like 45 minutes then I went straight to my talk because my schedule was tight. And I thought I was doing a one hour talk. Then I said, I'll take questions and my talk was at 1 p.m. Then I talked till 2 p.m. I said, I'll take questions outside. These MBA students asked me questions from 2 p.m. to midnight. It was a lot. I remember I went and I slept after that for like 26 hours. It was crazy or 22 hours. Like without waiting. Mean, I woke up like two times and I just was so tired. But I remember thinking, wow, this is very expensive. And there's some things that they're not teaching in any university in the world that you need to know in the modern world. The application of new information into knowledge that applies to that was the year 2014 but now you know into 2019 2020 2021 like the world's changing baby and so with mentor uh with mentor box which is our book summary business we were able to drop the price so that is less than netflix now as we launch knowledge society which is not books but it's business training kind of in a box, you could say. It's less than Netflix. So you can go to get your MBA and drop 40 to 100,000 and spend a year or two of your life. Or you could venture and say, well, maybe what Ty's saying makes a little sense. Click the link below and spend, spend less than Netflix. Do not ever have your entertainment budget higher than your investment in your self budget. There you go. Do they teach that at any Ivy League school? Heck no. Don't ever let your entertainment budget surpass your self education budget. As Jim Rohn said 20 years ago before he died, formal education can make you a living, but self education can make you a fortune. 
And I think the Forbes list plays out that that stat was pretty, I mean, that saying was pretty accurate. I think the statistics bear that out. That it's not just what your piece of paper says. I mean, we do live in a world where people get English degrees. And I ask them, well, what's your first language? What's your native language? Oh, yeah, I was born in uh, Arkansas. So you speak English? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. So you spent four years in the prime of your life and got 80 grand in debt to get a piece of paper that says you speak English. Well, yeah, I thought you already speak English, bro. Oh, yeah, but I but I didn't know what a, you know, hey, dangling participle was. Oh, uh, okay. Is that information helping you a lot? Well, I, I think you should get an English degree if you want to be an English teacher. I think you should get an English degree if you want to uh, maybe be an accomplished writer. Maybe. I don't know that accomplished writers always have English degree, but I could see it. Or maybe you just love the English language. I could see it. But um, that piece of paper ain't going to help you that much in the old game of career. It's really not, except for a few minor, very narrow focused careers. Believe it or not, I know public speaking in English and I don't have an English degree. And maybe my grammar is not at times absolutely perfect, but um, I don't know. In this game of life that I've lived, I've suffered very little for the grammar penalty. But I'll tell you this, the common sense penalty, the practically applied penalty is massive. You want to drop your income in half or have it, you know, the average person in America, I don't know what it is globally, has a 3% raise per year. Well, if you use a simple rule of 72, which we'll talk about inside, which you may already know, but you might not, a simple business finance tool that everybody on planet Earth should know and be taught. It means that about every roughly 20 to 25 years, your income will double. So if you start your career at 25, that means by 45, you've doubled your income. If you start out at 50, you'll be at 100 grand 20 to 25 years later. Now, the only problem with that is inflation is about 3%. So that means your buying power hasn't increased at all. Yeah, your rent's gone up at the same rate that your career, uh, your paycheck's gone up. So you got to increase faster than the average you, 3% raise ain't going to cut it because this world it is some places cost of living is going up four or 5%. Look at big cities, look at rents. They've gone up more. I know because I own real estate there and, and I, I can raise my rents more than 3%. So don't ever let that entertain. Don't ever let that Netflix, that Apple TV, don't let, you can have those. I like, I like to watch the office, but I like to watch Game of Thrones, HBO, but I, my self-education and my business training budget is 1,000 times bigger than my entertainment budget and some months beyond that. Some months beyond that. So this is a simple tool. Knowledge Society is going to help you. You click the link. There's a simple uh, SSL encrypted credit card page. It's 256 bits. No one can hack. It's safer than giving your credit card to, you know, a Starbucks person who could take your card and write the number. I'm not saying they do, so Starbucks, don't get mad at me. But no one knows your card number. It's encrypted. It's secured by Visa and MasterCard, okay? You're not mailing us cash or something like that, so you're safe. As quickly as you fill that out, you're going to get access to the password-protected members area quickly as you go in there you can click around and all of a sudden you're going to start getting a little structure and it's just 10 minutes a day it doesn't pull you down it doesn't i know you're busy modern world we're busy i know you might have a family and kids and a lot of responsibilities but i know you're in a car or a bus or a train for 10 minutes a day i think the average commute in big cities now is 30 minutes both ways so you still can listen to music and you can still listen to Spotify or whatever. You can still enjoy yourself. You can still read a book. You can still listen to MentorBox. That's another company we own. But add this to your arsenal. You go in, you click you, you click on a video and we have a set structure to it. Or you can click around on your own too if you want to. And press one button, put in the earbuds. You can watch the video if you're on the treadmill or if you're busy just listen to the audio we, we have pdfs for some of them attached we have simple quizzes if you want to go through the certification or if you just want to 
learn on your own, do it. If you own a company, you can buy extra seats for each of your employees. You cannot share a password, by the way, okay? It's kind of like Netflix, you know? You try to put your password online, and the thousand people use your login, we lock you out. So we'll give you a few logins like for your, so you can log in at work and home and device. But if you, and we price it very cheap if you have employees. I mean, whether you have a thousand employees or one employee, if you have a secretary, if you have a new hire, get them trained because the odds are you're the most skilled person in your company and you can, by the way, the best way to train them is train them yourself. I mean, that is the best, that's better than this website, Knowledge Society we built. But that takes a lot of time. And it's painful to train people. My least favorite thing in life is training employees because let's face it, you have employee turnover. So you spend a month training somebody and they go, oh, this is a great job, I'm gonna move on. And then you're like, wow, I just invested like, you know, an hour a week of my life in you and now you're gone. Employee loyalty is not quite as high as it used to be when everybody retired with the same job they started with at age 18. So. Let us outsource both your training and other people that work for you. Get your business partner in here. Buy a couple seats. On the next page, you can buy an individual seat. And you can always start with an individual seat and then buy more later. You, we have a refund policy. So you can get in the program. It hardly costs anything. Try the program. You get in the training, it's not for you. We'll send you your money back, okay? It's not a big deal. You're also protected by Visa and MasterCard and all that. So get in, it's less than Netflix. That's all I gotta say to that. And your alternative is spend a year at getting an MBA or getting business, you know, getting a second degree, which is gonna cost you an astronomical. I mean, we should be charging a thousand bucks. In fact, our first business model for this Knowledge Society was we're gonna charge people like a thousand bucks, go into high-end corporate training, but then I don't wanna only help big corporations. I don't mind helping big corporations, but I wanna help a wide variety of people, individuals, people who are employees, people who are solo entrepreneurs, people who have five employees in a small office, and people who have, you know, a million. Or this is scales. It's a great thing. All Each employee, each person gets their own email, password, they log in, there's a track record, they can see how, how well they're doing. And we're working, I don't know if it'll, when it'll be out, but we're working on a quiz. So you come in on day one, it's a simple quiz. It assesses you on a one to 100 score, how good your business skill right now. And then as you go through the training program, you see yourself progressing. You know, you might start out as a 60, that's not so good. The goal is to get everybody in the 90s. 90s is an A in school. We want, you need an A in business. You know what I'm saying? So click the link below, get in. I have only one request. When you start to see results and you start to see maybe, you know, getting a job promotion because your boss is noticing. Uh, or if you are a boss, you're noticing productivity is through the roof because your employees are inspired, trained, motivated, and you're not having to do any work. Send me or Alex an email with the success story. I love that. Ty at knowledgesociety.com or Alex at knowledgesociety.com. Send a screenshot, send a picture, send a video of you talking. We, I do go through the case studies and testimonials that we get. And so I am interested. I can't always respond to all of them, but I do basically see them all and check them all. So click the link below. Just a, a minute or so, you're gonna be on Inside Knowledge Society, a brand new world. And I believe most people are gonna go, why didn't they teach us in school? <laughs> and so as my first mentor, Joel Salich, had said, better late than never, better late than never. So. Whether you're young or old, today's your day. All right, talk to you soon.